Welcome to the Queen Anne's County Board of Education's work session. May I have a motion to go into closed session? Pursuant to the general provision article 3-305 and 3-104, I move that we go into closed session to consider matters that relate to negotiations. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say no. The ayes have it. We'll see you when we come back. Good afternoon. Welcome back to the Board of Education work session. Please stand and repeat the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At this time, we will continue with the budget discussion. Dr. Kane. Okay, so last time we left off and, and there were some questions and hopefully we were able to provide to you some responses as, regard to, as regarding breakdown of costs that we were um, proposing and you've gotten some information about that. We're going to go through whatever other piece um, that we need to walk through. I think we pretty much got through the presentation, but we, we do have some additional information we want to share with you. But I think an important part of today's conversation has to be about what will we do should we only be, uh, should we only receive maintenance of effort. And if we only receive maintenance of effort, that is going to um, require some significant um, cuts for us. And in order to be transparent with the public, um, we really do need to start having conversation about what it is that we will do to make up for the funding that we will not get if that is the case. We also want to inform and make sure that everybody is on the same page with regard to what maintenance of effort really is and the impact that maintenance of effort has so on, on our budget. So we're going to show a little video clip, which is just bear with me if, if you know the information, but sometimes I think this brings it home in a little bit of a, um, a more personal way so that everybody understands. It's no particular um, school ease, not, not any complicated language, but in layman's terms to help everybody understand. So if we could just start with the video, then we can continue with our discussion. And it's quick. Turn her up. Rocks. The Turn her up, the volume. It's like Schoolhouse Rocks, third one over from the left. Let's, let's start that one more time. Is it up as loud as it can go? Maybe we'll put the microphone with it. <laughs> is there is the microphone up there? No. That. Looks like my house. I'm just a bill. It's my good internet service. Please don't like that. drown it's your food. Is that some money you mean? <laughs> <laughs> no, that little thing that just keeps going and going and going and going. Uh, oh, your internet connection. Because you don't have good internet service. <laughs> oh, gotcha. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I got you. I've discovered I can Google it on my phone faster than trying to find it on the internet. Okay, so you, you it just went to the next uh, YouTube. Uh, so, so while we get that together, we may as well go ahead. Um, I'll, I'll work on that if you if you like, uh, Miss Landgraf, while you get started on the. Well, I was going to use the projector. So. There you go. There you go. Pressure is good. Yeah. Click on that little, um, oh, yes, click that. There you go. And is it? It's yeah. not making any sound. It's muted now. There, there you go. There you go. Hmm? Well, we oh, can just that's mock a shame. the words. <laughs> <laughs> that's a shame. But it started before. It did, it yeah. Did. If costs remain the same, and costs rarely stay the same, prices just keep creeping up. So we all experience this with our own personal yes. finances. Go the other way. There you go. Yeah. There you go. I just give it a second. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. <laughs> 
right. not, not your fault. And, and certainly it just gives us, you know, an understanding of how important it is um, that the public understand that maintenance of effort is definitely the very minimal amount required by law uh, that school districts uh, are funded. But even if we only get maintenance of effort, we will still find ourselves in a negative situation um, if that's what happens year over year, because costs increase while the funding is, is really level. Did you try? One times. Her time's a charm, Robin. That's what they tell me. <laughs> me, yep. MOE. There you go. Hi there. Don't touch it. I'm MOE. MOE stands for Maintenance of Effort, a state of Maryland law signed in 1984. It requires local governments to provide, at a minimum, the same level of education funding per student from year to year. MOE sounds like a solid plan to protect da, education da, da, da. funding, right? Well, not exactly. Maintenance of effort is a misnomer. MOE only maintains the same level of educational services if costs remain the same, and costs rarely stay the same. Prices just keep creeping up. We all experience this with our own personal finances and monthly bills. So while the MOE law provides for funding at the same amount per student from year to year, it does not account for the rising costs of educating students. MOE does not address inflation, wage increases, and the rising price of goods and services, such as fuel, electricity, health benefits, textbooks, computers, and other school materials. So with costs rising every year, funding at the maintenance of effort level actually means reducing our level of support for our students. I didn't know that. Well, it's true. Let's say we have a school system with 2,500 students with local funding per student of $10,000. This school system receives $25 million from its local government. Assume the next year that enrollment stays the same. If funded at the maintenance of effort level, the school system would receive $25 million again. But assuming an average cost increase of 2%, the school system would need $25.5 million to provide exactly, but no more, than what they are currently providing to students. So, they are half a million dollars short. By strictly using the MOE equation, this school system would need to make budget cuts. The same per student funding actually equates to less goods and services. And this equation does not account for the need for new programs, initiatives, or new strategies. When enrollment increases, the MOE law does provide for additional money per student as provided in the prior year but it does not fund the additional money needed for the rising cost of educating all its students. This budget shortage could lead to larger class sizes, reduced services, and less student programs. While maintenance of effort gives us the floor or the minimum for education funding, it should not be considered the funding ceiling. We must factor in rising costs and the growing needs of our students so that our children receive the education they deserve. So I think that that is a really simplistic way. I mean, it's a cartoon, but the information is, is valuable. Just to prove the point that when we receive only maintenance of effort, we really are starting at a deficit. So that was the point of it. So at this point, um, Ms. Landgraf is going to go ahead and, and start to uh, walk us through any revisions or changes that you may have requested um, and that we need to um, and then we'll move into whatever questions you have and what it is that we'll have to start to look at should we need to um, make up for funding not received if we only receive maintenance of effort. Ms. Lagra? Sure. Okay, so the last time we met, um, I gave you a budget book and on page three of that budget book, it gives you the revenue summary, which essentially looks like this. Um, overall, the increase that we had requested was $5.4 million. Um, we know what the maintenance of effort, the required maintenance of effort from the county is 1.389. The estimated state aid is 329000 And then last year, as you recall, we used some of our fund balance, which will, is at this point is not proposed to be used again. So our request over maintenance of effort was three point nine million dollars almost four million dollars um, 
after our meeting last time, we were uh, to make some changes to the budget book, which I went back in and I made those changes. And these are the list of the things that we changed. Um, the public information office, no reorganization there. We had originally requested two assistant principals. We left in the one for Kent Island High School. Um, we had originally requested to move elementary teacher specialists to assistant principals. We're not going to do that, so they go back into the um, instructional part of the budget. The APA program manager, we had requested to move to a principal, and we decided determined not to do that. Um, initially, we had eight teaching positions in the budget, and we reduced that by four. We had the all the funding for the virtual academy, and we removed that. And then we also removed the nurse that was requested for the APA program. So once all of those things were said and done, um, I produced a new budget book. And the page three summary in that budget book looks like this now. So the total increase um, is still for 4.49. Oh, sorry. 103. 4.49. Um, million required maintenance of effort again with the estimated state may aid and the other sources we're still at a three million dollar request over maintenance of effort um, we know that the county government has said maintenance of effort so as an executive team yesterday we started looking at everything that's in this budget and trying to determine what we could do um, in order to reduce that figure so in the budget, we have a list of other costs. And most of these other costs are really cost of doing business. These are increased costs, just like we just saw in the maintenance of effort um, video there. We have increased costs. Um, as you can see, and I've just listed them, legal, school day SAT, the TPA for the um, 403B program, mileage adjustments and you can read the list there the large things on the list are the hourly wage improvements which we would like to be able to do because we haven't been able to raise our hourly rates for employees in many years um, the software licenses which we've discussed in the past um, essentially the way we've been funding them since we've gone to our one-to-one -one laptop um, initiative has been through what we call fourth quarter money money that was left through attrition at the end of the year and we're not really sure that we're going to have those funds to do that this year so we need and that is an operating cost it needs to be in the operating budget so that those can things can be funded each year um, the other large items non-public placements we've talked about that those are just students who are placed out of the county and what the cost of that tuition is um, bus contracts we currently have a three-year contract with our bus contractors, um, and in their uh, contract, there is a two, there is a uh, increase that is linked to the CPIU, and the CPIU came out at 2.2 million or 2.2 percent this year, so that's what that at that 105 represents a two percent increase for them. Um, and then you get down to the three bottom items, which are the largest items, payroll taxes and retirement costs. They're based on what salaries are in the budget. And then the health insurance. And we're anticipating a 4.5% increase in our health insurance for next year. So for active employees, that would be 700000 And retirees, that would be 150. dollars When you add that list of everything that's in the budget, um, that's $2.2 million. So we went back through that list and we said, okay, is there anything in here that possibly we could do without? And what we came up with, and I've just added a second column there to show you what the difference is between school day. Is, school day is the school day SAT um, we would take out. We would reduce the hourly wage improvements which is not something we really want to do, but not sure what else to cut. Um, software licenses, 
Mr. Poluski and his team would have to reevaluate the software licenses to come up with where we could cut $100,000 out of there. And that was really all we could come up with. So out of that whole list of things, we only came up with $334,000 to be able to cut. Because everything else on there is just the cost of doing business. It's not anything new. Um, it's, it's the normal increases that come with health insurance, with um, con maintenance contracts, it's custodial supplies, repairs to building. All of those things are just stable. They are just the cost of doing business. So the ones that we thought we might be able to, um, you know, decrease that bottom line, that 2.2, <coughs> were the ones that we cut out of there. So the question then becomes, okay, so you reduced it by $300,000 and we needed, remember, our cost was $3 million. So that's change, it's penny candy, right? So we have to look at what else might we have to do. And we started this conversation a couple of weeks ago. The only way that we are going to get to a place where we are finding millions of dollars, upwards of you know over $2 million, is to cut FTEs full-time equivalent positions. And I'm not talking now at this point about vacant positions because we don't have any to cut. That was done last year when we didn't get, you know, what was what was necessary. So we don't have any vacant positions to cut. So now we're looking at having to cut positions that are occupied by our employees. So what we did was we started to create some scenarios for you and, and or is that going to come next or do you want to go over something? Okay, so you'll start um, the conversation about the scenarios for what we might need to do um, to make up this $3 million should we only receive maintenance of effort. So the first scenario we came up with was obviously the $334,000 that we had identified in that list of things, um, budget increases that we had. The second item was to reduce physical education at the middle school. Currently we have a male and female teacher at each of our middle schools. Um, and we would look to replace one or the other with an assistant so that the assistant would still be available to be in the locker room when the kids are changing their clothes and whatnot, um, but that there would only be one teacher for that at the middle school level. The second thing was something that we discussed last year. Do we not year. have, I'm sorry Excuse to interrupt, me. do we not have a dollar amount for if we went from a full-fledged teacher to an assistant, what we'd be saving? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. $200,000 is I'm what we estimated the savings would be. I'm sorry, before you, let me just clarify. Mm -hmm. We're looking to find $1.9 million, basically. One nine two five. That's well. That's an idea what we're looking um, to find. That's what was over MOE. If we go back. I, I, yeah. What's over MOE is three million dollars. Right. Three million forty-one fifty-eight. <laughs> right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. There on the front page. It's all right. And it's if you took the, if you had to take the three, three thirty-four out of that, that's what we're looking for. Right. Okay. So that would be two point seven, two point eight. Okay. Yeah. Thank. You. I'm sorry. That's okay. That. Can I just ask one question? In middle school PE, what's the so class size of per teacher in the PE? Like, like, how many students are in that class? Is it 24, and now it's going to go to 48, or is it 48 going to go to 92 or 96? And I know we had that on a, a different slide in, in the original one, but it runs somewhere upwards of 25, 28, and this is going to certainly increase the class size in some locations. There's a, they, we don't use just one model for instruction for middle school PE. Some, all middle schools have two teachers, a male and a female teacher, and for the majority um, you know, it has to do with kids needing to change, and, and there. So, but we don't need to have a teacher for kids to change. Some PE teachers co-teach their classes. Some schools have one PE teacher doing the health part. One PE teacher does the PE part. Some schools they are running two classes at the same time. So we have multiple models that we're using in our schools. I just worry <coughs> that I mean. 60 to 70 kids with one teacher and assistant, I it, think, is... It, we couldn't have it, it would be to 70 horrible. kids. Yeah. I, the, that, the liability yeah. alone would be yeah. astronomical. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and these are these are realities, so we've, we've got to think about what we're... You need all the information, and then you weigh it and decide what, you know, you want to recommend. So, Ms. Mayor. 
So the second item that we talked about, and this is one that we, we discussed last year, um, last year we had gone out to each of the schools and said if you had to lose a position what would it be and for the elementary schools the overwhelming majority of them said media so last year you back to the page after oh, I'm sorry. Before that one. yeah I was looking like that doesn't... <laughs> oh there we go there we go, there we go. yeah, yeah. Sorry yeah. About that. But, but go to the next media teachers okay yeah you're good this so is a, yeah the media so um, in order oh, to reduce What's that? Yeah, okay, go ahead. Different. So this is, the PE teacher was for middle school, and then she's at the elementary media uh, line Which is right under for 265. It, yeah. So that's one media person out of every school? Elementary. Oh, elementary only. She was assistant. Right, so moving oh, the right. media specialist to a an aide, an yeah. assistant here's, position. Here's a paper copy. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that's oh. That's some good. of this information just so that you, you have it. You're writing it all down. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Thank you. I have one. Thanks. She just gave him. She passed him this way. All right. Thank you. You good? Thank you. Okay. <coughs> Should have passed those out to begin with. Sorry about that. I'm, I, I ripped it off. Okay, so. It gave me a lot of writing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Back to the media assistance. We talked about this last year, um, and the estimate was $265,000 that that would save. So when we take those three things, when we add it up, we've got, we got to $799,000. Our request over maintenance of effort was over $3 million. So the amount that we still are over maintenance of effort is 2.2 million. If we look at that and assume, when I budget teachers, I budget them at $85,000 based on their salary, their fixed charges, their health insurance and everything. So $85,000 is what I would budget a teacher. That's 26 positions, 26 FTEs we would have to lose in order to make up that difference I, I'm really not let, let me just <clears throat> start out I, I'm not in support of cutting anybody that is in direct contact with children I'm just put that on the table right now I know that's going to make it a lot more difficult to do things but I'm not going to agree to cutting 26 teachers there's no way so, so let's if we run say, through all the scenarios so you okay. see I think so you see what you're looking at, and then I think it'll be wise for you to have conversation okay. after you hear all of them. Uh, 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 okay, so let's just look at it at and then just continue going. At reducing the media position to an assistant, so you would still have a person body, if, right. right? It would just not be a certified teacher; it would be an assistant and not getting rid of the 26 that it was needed to make up that differential a minute ago, we'd still be at 2,242,000, blah, blah, blah. 2.2 million. Right, but that's only 600,000 over what we asked for last year. We asked for 1.6 last year. And we're denied, though. But you we were, anything. we were, yeah. we did it. But the media, one thing but to point is the media specialist somewhere. here is a body, is a person qualified yeah. that will yeah. lose their job or be yeah. demoted and lose the money to an assistant. Or would be put into a position that would be opening, and at this point Which we don't know. Right. don't know. Don't sure. know. And how many are we Depend talking right. about there? There's eight media assistants at the elementary school. And we have four teachers. We have four teachers' and positions open that if they, were, if they were certified to be able to go into those. We asked for four teachers out of the eight. So. Right. Right. We could put them at, back in the teaching position at, if they were qualified. Under this scenario, yeah, but so you're that's still $2.2 million. Yeah. Right. Okay. Oh, okay. and the other one is the so middle school PE teacher. How many would we, we'd be reducing four people? Right. These are actual people. Yes. We'll be firing. Are there only two scenarios? Yes. Okay. So then the next thing that we talked about was, okay, if we're going to be reducing those positions, then how can we actually be asking to put additional positions in the budget at the same time? Mm -hmm. So when I costed out what the total of the eight new positions was, were that we had originally requested in the budget, that was $700,000. So even with that, so that gets us to 1.5 million. 
1499. That gives us to 1 1.5. That's half of what we need. So that le still leaves us 1.5 over maintenance of effort. And again, with teaching positions being approximately 85,000, that's 18 teachers that we would need to cut. So how would we do that? So we looked at um, cutting each elementary, each elementary school will get reduced by one teacher. Now remember, we've already reduced the elementaries by a media specialist. So what they would actually be losing two certified positions in their building. Then we would ask each middle school to reduce by one teacher. And again, we've already reduced the PE teachers, so they would be reducing by two. And then we would go to each high school and ask them to reduce by two teachers. So every, every school in the entire system would be reducing by two certified staff. Real people that we employ right now. Correct, people yes. sitting in positions. Now, is there an will there be an opportunity for us to reabsorb some of those positions and with positions that people are going to leave? And, and sure, absolutely there will. We don't know what that looks like because we don't have that information. And we certainly uh, can't point. depend on that to be 100%. May I, may I ask why um, no central office um, middle like administration supervisors have been reduced? Like to, to like do two hats. I mean, we're talking about people who are directly in contact with our children, the teachers. The supervisors are one less ab above that. I mean, why has that ever been looked at? Well, if you'll remember last correctly, year. last year we reduced six positions. <coughs> and all six of the positions that we reduced were that middle management. There was a supervisor. Right. There was somebody out of the finance department. There was so somebody out of the transportation department. And they were actually people, secretary. too. But they were moved. Right. They weren't they are, done right. away with. Three, uh, they were not done away with. Curriculum instruction alone. Right. right. So there were six positions one. that we actually reduced. Right. But they and were able to, just like we're going to try to put these people somewhere, too. I mean, I don't think we're treating them any different than we treated Central. The workers. difference between finding a position within the system for six people and 26 people is huge. Yeah. And no doubt. No doubt about that. And we hired, what, 41 new teachers this year? 41? Which is kind of our norm and and so the other work is in looking to see um, you know what the area of certification where these folks are licensed certificated and where they might um, be reabsorbed back into the system difference being yeah. not new teachers bottom level coming into a system people already in a system established years of service perhaps being taken out Furniture is definitely I hope they get it. I hope they get it. Tough. <coughs> okay. So, so what does that mean? Um, essentially what that means is that will result, well, taking one from, one from each of the elementary, one from each middle, and two from the high schools, so that will be 16 positions. We've already done eight media, and we've already talked about four PE. So that's a total of 26 positions that we would have to, or 28 positions that we would have to reduce throughout the system. Yeah, we could. And what would that do to our class sizes? That was the, the next question that we had. So we looked at each of the well, elementary the schools, their, their current mm -hmm. enrollment, <coughs> the number of classroom teachers that they currently have, and what that teacher-pupil ratio would be. And if they had to reduce by one classroom teacher, what would that pupil ratio look like? And you can see at Kennard Elementary School, that gets up to 26 students per class. That's a big class. And the other one that is of real concern is Ken Island Elementary School because those are the primary grades, the pre-K through teachers, second grade. Teachers. And they would be at 23 students per class already as would Bayside. And no additional pre-K or kindergarten classes, no. No. which we continue We've, to need. Right. We've been trying to put those in for several years. So then we did the same thing at the middle school level. And this is worse. I mean, we've got Mattapique Middle School going from 
you know, 25 students to, to 27 in the classroom and 26 at Sellersville. So these are in 26 again at Stevensville. I mean, these are these are pretty big classes if we were to have to cut one person at a middle school level. And, and this is taking um, like for Kent Island Elementary, taking away that second grade position. That's so this is in addition to that. And that's right. what the number would end up. Okay. Thank you. Do, do we ever lose teachers say like they say, well, you know, so Mattapique Elementary would have a hard time getting teachers because they're going to look at that and say, well, gosh, I'm entering into a position where I'm going to be looking at a class size this big. Does that tend to weigh on it, on this? On the decision whether yeah. somebody takes a position. Right. Right. I think in that school and it's harder to get teachers. Yeah. Every year the teachers don't know how many kids yeah, they're really going to get. Yeah. You would know as a teacher, you know, okay, this would be a better school for me because my no, not really, because some of the schools have ha had traditionally high classes, and then all of a sudden, just that not, particular know. age group will have a, a a smaller group, and now the teachers are loving it because they've only got 22 kids, and they had 25 for four years. It's yeah. based on it's different it's what teachers decide. What teachers okay. decide okay. To Do you know teach. the answer to that? And, and I can't speak for this district, but I've not heard that's generally not an issue when hiring teachers is, you know, how many right. students are going to be in my class. Generally, teachers want to go to a location that is a good fit for them. Um, schools with good reputations and quite frankly most of the time schools with the great reputations have the larger class sizes because everybody sure. wants to be there sure. um, good point. And, and in this in this case by reducing by one classroom teacher it doesn't present a humongous jump of five or ten students it creates a jump of one two three um, students so that's not um, you know humongous but it's a concern one because when we did our budget survey people spoke and they said that class size was important to them and when we are forced to look at doing things like this it, it, it becomes an issue it becomes an issue so it's it's not a humongous jump but it, it's a concern mm -hmm. thank you mm -hmm. it didn't change all right we need to I think listening up. to the public on that you know that's a huge issue uh, we'd be cutting teachers at, if there's mm -hmm. only two scenarios I guess we're, we're free to work out and, and, the, and the reason is if when you um, when you walk through that budget book uh -huh. you you won't find many places yeah. that we've <laughs> asked for right. Right. Yeah. Right. we've been asked for it, right, right. A, a lot of increases and and the work that you the team has done this board has done to say okay this isn't the right time for um, virtual learning this isn't the right time to change teacher specialists to APs this isn't the those cuts have already been done but because they weren't significant increases to begin with they don't provide significant cost savings um, so even cutting those things out the only way you're going to get to three million dollars and I'm going to say this again and again is cutting positions in a district this size it is a small district with a small budget and you're not getting a three million dollars without cutting positions and that's exactly what needs to be said I Just see like I mean, that. if there's a well, way yeah. that's what this you don't want to do that. is about if there's a way right. you've right. got all of the information here so right. I mean we please right. have at it right. I, mean, well, I, I have a couple right. questions on the other cost <coughs> the line like we like is we have fifty-five thousand dollars in for furniture. You know, yes, we need some furniture, but this might not be the year that fifty-five thousand dollars worth of furniture and is say, the year. And say, let it go. Yeah. And so we debated that. We know we have classrooms that need furniture, but if, if you know, whatever, we got to do whatever we have to do. So and the software license is. I mean, I know it's already reduced a hundred thousand. But have you taken a survey of the teachers of what programs are actually really using and getting something out of? Yeah, and I'm going to let Mr. P speak to this, but a good part portion of that is a core program. So um, we don't have a choice. We can't cut it. It's, we don't have enough months in a year to go through a textbook adoption. Mm -hmm. It is what we have, and we can consider it for the following year, but a good portion of that is a core program. So we, we'd have nothing in middle school math. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And we she, can't do it. Could we go down to each one of these? Sure, we can and, do whatever. And you look at, do. you know, then we can make an adjustment. I mean, I agree with with them. Um, yep, and and that's what that's why you have all of this information. Yeah. Is did you want to say anything else about um, like legal? George's why do we need ten more thousand? Right. We well, just contracted services. Just that's that's exactly right. Contracted contracted services. Three thousand. I mean, sorry, three hundred and ninety-two thousand one hundred seventy-nine dollar increase. Where do you see that? We're on page 13. Well, we're, right now we're on this list. Yeah, we're on this list right now. I know you're you're on that one because we yeah, have questions about this one too. 
But this well, is the one that this is the one you were talking about, right, Beth. Yeah. Okay. We could just and this one does correlate to what you have in that yeah. book. But well, let's just I go down this real quick because it's just one on one page. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. I'd say do away with the do away. We we've, yeah. we've already marked that with do which away. one the legal the lawyer. Yeah. Okay. Let me just be um, real clear on that. Mm -hmm. When we have hearings and when we ha these are things that require and could end up costing you. Um, I think you ought to, and it's not a humongous amount of money, but we're pretty close to where we had budgeted for our legal fees for this year, and it's February. Well, what we need to maybe find out the cost of what is asking our legal to sit in to our board, board meetings, meetings again. I mean, we and, cut and that we, out a couple years ago, well, and it done that. happened to come back. And that yeah. was a significant amount of money, if I remember, when we stopped it. But he hour. wasn't charging us a dollar amount for that. This was all part of the contract what presented. He, what he agreed to do was because he's working on multiple areas in this district. So what he agreed to do was to work on our work while he was here because he's getting paid for it either way. And okay. so if he is here so and working no on our work, it is getting no paid once cost. instead of sitting here getting paid and then going back to the office and doing the other work that we ask them to do. So what is the ten thousand? Okay. Do okay. That makes sense. Well, that yeah. That that represented the increase in the legal fees that we anticipate because where we are right now, we're just about expended and we've not made it through the school year. Right. And so what we did was cost out what we thought it would what it would be to make it to the end of a school year. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Well, I'm okay with that then. Yeah. Which is what I used the financial report for at the last board meeting because that told us year to date what we right. had spent right. Right. as compared to right. what we had right. reserved. Right. Now you've, you've taken out that school day SAT me. and I know that that 24000 was to cover what the cost of the test for students to take. Mm -hmm. Is it possible that we could still have a school day SAT if and the parents, parents opted to pay for it because they're going to have to pay for it anyway? Well, the only thing that you're going to get with that is that you aren't going to get every kid who is eligible to take the test, take the test. Yeah. Yeah. And so you're, See, you're going to have that's some That's the kids. one I want to keep in. No, that's the too. one I think benefits our students more than anything. I think so, too. So we're now we're we adding. We want to add that back <laughs> in. <laughs> and so now we're adding money back into the budget. Okay. No. <laughs> we love it, but well, we were just I, trying to think. I what agree. Could I, we, we need to put that yeah. back in. Anything that, um, that it benefits kids directly, it, it, it's got to stay. There's so many kids that can't don't have transportation to don't have funds to yeah, I agree. and if we can do it in school i think we need to put that back in i mean i'm willing to to do away with some furniture if kids can all take the test right yeah right you know i hear you Jay. so okay so and i know you want to go in order but i, I am hearing you all consensus <coughs> about the furniture get rid of that 55. get rid of the furniture okay i mean i know we need it but it maybe just not right now and maybe this isn't the year for the hourly wage improvements. So we took out part of it and we kept part of it simply because it within <coughs> this line, the sick leave. Um, oh, okay. Uh -huh. That's so what that is. Okay. Yeah. So part of it we, okay. we left in and the rest of it um, we took out. So what did we take out in this slide? 200,000. 200,000. 200, yeah. And, yeah. The, and the rest of it. And, okay, and so what we, we really left have in to have that then. was it's an estimate for sick leave. Okay. That has nothing to do with increasing our substitute pay or anything like that. That's a different deal. Okay, great. And the rest of this stuff is, I mean, if you look at it, this is the stuff that we have to have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. well, we can't except, cut it so because we, have to we have took it. out Taking the PD consultant. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Aren't we good? <laughs> um, the, the early well, college good. tuition <laughs> is the bill we have to pay. It's a yeah, I think I yeah, we have to if we're put a percentage the early college in. Yeah. And kids at yeah. the high schools have already okay. decided. That's, okay, they've already decided. So, um, I don't see anything else that can be. Repairs to buildings, what exhaust yeah. is I'm that? Sorry. The repairs to buildings, is there? Just the basic upkeep of repairing buildings. I mean, I can tell you right now, uh, we still have four months left, and I'm about down to zero on my account and telling the guys, hey, we, we got to hold off. I mean, paint you know, parking lots. Well, a lot of that. I mean, safety, security things. Mm -hmm. that, yeah. I mean, now we really gotta, okay, heat, air conditioning, safety, security, everything else, hold off on. I mean, which it's just gonna keep <coughs> compiling. And actually, we really haven't increased that line, those line items, in a long, long time. Um, I mean, they've remained flat for many years, and we're just, like I said, I got four months left, and <laughs> I'm just. 
He's well, making me very nervous. <laughs> and, and what happens is that ties into the overall rating of our buildings. I was going to say. And, right. and with our new, you know, system and, and how we're being rated, schools who have buildings that don't meet the cut, that don't pass, um, are going to have sanctions. Yes. And we're going to yeah. find ourselves in deep trouble. Yes. If, if we end up in that category. And Sid, the gym floors and the supplies, custodial supplies, those are mandatory, correct? Because we have to yeah. change everything to green and... Upgrade. And that's just, when you see gym floors, that's just one little example of that right. category. That, that right. whole amount is not allocated for that. Right. No, but that's... But just the cost of doing, going, doing business yeah. has gone up yeah. and we just have never increased it. And we're right. just scraping the bottom of the barrel. Yeah. Because, like you... The board member said earlier we've kind of cut a lot of the areas that were not affecting you right. know students as much i mean it's, these do affect students right but yeah they do those areas have been really they've been the first to go off the first the tree. To go. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so yeah but this is this is mandatory because the schools have to go green correct yes yeah so yeah so, okay. so what is our bottom line total that we've pulled here so you add it back in the twenty-four thousand. Oh. So we just okay. took out the took twenty-six thousand and all three hundred three, right? No, be three thirty-four. No, because you got to add twenty-six. Subtract twenty-six thousand from three thirty-four. But well, we had twenty-six. Okay, we took thirty-one. Fifteen. Okay, for the furniture. Furniture. Oh, I'm sorry. We had thirty-five. I thought we had. Yeah. There's Plus what yeah, was the twenty-six? Right, You're right. It's thirty-one, isn't it? Thirty-one. Yeah. It's thirty-one. It's 303. Yeah. Well, I have a question in these in the books um, or in the the new paperwork that we got you can. because we still have um, school nurses. We still have that at 15. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait a minute. I'm looking at the wrong one. Right. We took that out. School nurse. We still have an increase of 21,034 with 15 nurses and not 14. And it should say 14. That's it an should. error on my part. So I what's did, the 21? I did not correct the FTEs okay. in the, in the second on? book. I did uh, correct that the, one is the page salary 26. numbers, but not the FTEs. So what's the increase of the 2134? That would be just their step and their um, steps. Right. Okay. Compensation. And increase. then the same thing is I found for uh, on page 11 for the principals, it's listed as 14. 15. I mean, 15, it should be 14. And is that 10,000 the same thing? That steps? Yes. What page was that in that? I'm sorry. Page 11. Okay. <clears throat> so that was just a, a typo as well. And then. Yeah, I, um, I incorrectly did not change. That's, that's, that's fine. I apologize. But then you go to page 7 and. Under salaries and wages, central office, it's still $58,158. Is that also? Page 7. Yeah. There's an increase of $58,158. Right. And that basically what I did on that is I took out the, um, the money for the public information um, director. Mm -hmm. The communication specialist I left in as it was, um, Mr. Farley and I conferred on that and it, based on what that um, job description was, the $60,000 salary is the, right. is the correct number to be in there. From 40. <coughs> 47, wasn't it? It was like 40, yes. For which, oh, which position is that? Is that the multimedia or the communication specialist? Communication specialist. It aligns I, really. So we're going to give them $58,000? The position so. really in its duties aligns more with a senior communication specialist. And I found other positions around. The most closely aligned one was uh, in Minnesota. And then I did a salary by geography comparison. And it aligned closely with Baltimore. And then I did the cost adjustment. And that was what it came out. I well, brought it with me if you'd like to see it. Well, no, I, I don't really care because I'm not, I'm not giving $58,158. Dollars and cut 26 teachers no, 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 no. Uh, hold on hold on that's, okay. that's not <laughs> the difference between the original communication specialist which was about 47,000 okay and moving that to 60 no. and then because, the rest okay. of the salary increases so you've got um, but nine other people in that right in that area right that's their steps and their their, their steps call. okay all right all right so I'm, I'm not comfortable confused. for going from 47,000 to 60,000 either. 
Well, I, I want to get back to that because we were asking for originally a new position as director, keeping the other two positions but retitling them, and an increase of 168. 110 of that was for one of the positions, and Which came 60 out. was for the other, and 8 was some and sundry other things. I thought we were told that the position, I don't want to name the name, hold on. Communication specialist position was at 40 a year. It was 47 Seven. because that weighs into some other things I'm well, Part of it to, to consider, we also indicated Seven. that if we did not bring in that brand new PIO overseer, right. that the jobs were going to fall on those last, those only two people. <coughs> but it's and always been those it, two people. It, and we've been very unhappy with the situation. Well, so, that, I mean, that's, that's why two we, different we had issues. given her the, um, to take a look at, he, she and Mr. Har, um, Mr. Farley to take a look at how all of those jobs could be done with just the two remaining people. I'm not saying that's what we have to do, but that yeah. was why well, that position that's ended still, up being a little bit more. That's still an increase of thirteen thousand dollars. I'm and not supporting um, that either. Really. Me neither. I, I agree with I you. I can't support. I that. can't. Then we have. I, to I think. Cut, I think. If we're leave it cut where it is. Teachers. First of all, we are talking about a position that, if we leave it the way it is, will be picked up in our consultation. That we're or our um. Our thirty-five thousand dollar compensation thing that we're going to do. <laughs> yes, our compensation, compensation right. audit or whatever. In my opinion, that's the time to increase something right. like that, right. along with all other positions that might be pointed out in that right. process. I would like to leave this completely alone right now. I would like to leave every department alone right now, unless we are able to reduce any staff members without directly affecting our student body, which remains to be seen. This position, as I read this, the requirements for it, is not a $60,000 position in Queen Anne's County. Just my opinion. <laughs> Whatever you like to do, you just want to get to the bottom of it. I don't so. want to at 20 teachers either but can we I mean, if we heard the public say they want to keep class sizes low can we look at where there's going to be the highest class ratio numbers and just not cut teachers I mean we cut I don't want to cut anybody get don't don't get me wrong here but maybe we cut five teachers and we cut them or maybe we cut ten and we just leave alone the schools that already have those high class sizes and that would be listening to the public saying we want low class sizes but if you start cutting teachers in other schools, then you then the high issue? then the high goes up. Right, but then the, I mean, then the classrooms the the class size is going to go up because you're going to be minus two teachers from the schools that are just that are or have 18, 20 kids to a thing. So now you're going to cut two positions. So now you have to find you have to put those in other classrooms, those children in other classrooms. Mm -hmm. So now those numbers are going to go up. Right, but I'm just saying, you know, where the numbers are already high, can right. we not cut because those numbers are already so high? So if you have 27 at a school traditionally, leave that alone and right. maybe cut your schools that only have 19. I mean, I know that doesn't seem fair. It doesn't but none of seem fair, fair, and I don't so know if we, we can about what even seems the do that. Least I guess not fair. <laughs> how do we even determine which 26 positions? I think if we're go. making it clear to the public and to the teachers that we need to fight for an additional MOE. I'm not sure we're at the point where we we can we have identified the kinds of pain we're going to have. <clears throat> I don't think we're sitting at a point where we're saying now we have to get rid of that one. And I'm not sure that's where we want to go with the budget. I think right. we we know it's painful. We've identified that to the public very clearly, and somehow we need to maybe present that when we're presenting our budget. If we don't get our MOE generally, this is what's going to occur. I don't have a problem with but doing I that. Do, the only but problem with that, Bev, not to interject, but yeah. um, is that if we don't discuss it now and when we go out to the public and she presents it, it's going to look like the board has already made a decision about cutting 26 teachers. Well, that's and we about, so we're talking about it now. I mean, this is public. Yeah, but I'm not for cutting 26 teachers. Right, right. I, I agree. Yeah. I agree, but that's, that's the kind of conversation we're right. having now. 
which we may end up doing. Now we may right. decide instead to not to compensate this next year. If we get down to it, that's a one point, you know, that's a lot of money. Uh, so, I mean, I don't think we're at the point where we're making that choice, but we are bringing the concerns to the public. Do we also and I think, don't we have to, at a point here, choose to where we want you, where we want to draw our bottom line of yeah. what's going forward? Yeah, yeah, you're going to have to make a decision about how it is. I mean, we understand what your requests are. We get that. But that's $3 million over maintenance of effort. In the event, and this was our commitment, in the event, at least it was my commitment, I'll say that. I won't put you in anything. Um, but I committed to being transparent about what we would need to do in the event that we only get Absolutely. maintenance of right. effort. Absolutely. And that is this conversation. So what are right. the options? So the options are knowing that each teacher, an average salary is 85000 That's 26 teachers. We reduce that down. We can get it down to 18, I think it is, that we had. So we need to cut people in positions, FTEs, full-time equivalent, people living, breathing, mortgage paying, car payment, tuition bill, people, 18 of them, in order to make up for the amount. We have got to be clear, or we can say, we can't approve any compensation unless we're sure that, I'm, I'm just making up all options here. I'm not saying that that's what you're saying, but I'm just giving you some examples. We can say um, that we can't approve 1% in a step because we don't have it. Um, or we can say we approve it contingent upon funding, which is what you would have done anyway. Right. But we already know going it's into in it here. that we are already short 500,000, right, right, at 1% and a step. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're basing that on money that we already know we don't have. That's why I said what I said at the beginning of this conversation. So it's a lot of tough decisions that need to be made. And I, let me tell you what. I, I don't want to cut one single teacher. Sure, I don't want to cut anybody. I came into this argument saying we need to increase our pay for substitutes, for teacher Absolutely. assistants, for custodians. <laughs> right. Hourly That's employees right. haven't right. gotten a raise. We all I came feel into that, that, that saying that is what we have to do. Right. But we're three million short. What happened to the list that you gave us a month, a few months back? That it was like. The cost of pay to play again. The, those well, those that, items. That's still is in. That, the, yeah. This, we, this we is this is. Yet? No, you got that in the initial um, PowerPoint. It's right here. Yeah, you you got that in the initial initial one. But when we look at those things, that is still is not getting anywhere close. To what we anywhere are. close to three million dollars. I think pay to play was about one hundred and thirty thousand yeah. dollars. Oh, okay. Right. Um, right. Late so, buses. That was eighty four. <laughs> right. So, late so buses, we actually we don't have late buses at Kent there. Island any longer. Right. Right. We have them at Queen Anne, so right. it's not going to be oh, not, you that see much money anymore. So, so <laughs> where are we? I mean, we need to decide to give you guidance of where we're going to go forward. So that's why we presented the scenarios. That's why we share with you what will happen with class sizes. That's why we share with you the scenarios that say, you know, a step in 1%. That's why I said what I said. Don't make a decision just yet at the outset with the uh, um, situation with, you know, in closed session. Um, all of these things are going to factor into how you ask me to present a budget, mm -hmm. right? So. I just want to arm you with all of the information that we have, present a couple of scenarios, and then let you have at it with a, a red pen and say, just like the conversation you just had, this school day SAT is so important that we're willing to put that back in. Let's do away with furniture to have SAT. Right. That's exactly the conversation that's necessary. But as you say, what you're not willing to do, you have to temper that with that $3 million that we, are, we may be faced with finding. Because we don't want to come back to this table in June, which is what has happened in the past. Yes with MOE to decide only what's what getting we're cut. Get up. We mm -hmm. have got to make those decisions up front so that we can be transparent about what we will do and no one Event. is blindsided. Yes. It is nothing that we want to do. Right. We would like to see us, I mean, I don't think $3 million is a lot to ask for when we're talking about 7,800 students, but it is a lot to ask for in some other folks' mind. What part of that can we cut down on? Is there any part that we can cut down on? Is there any part that we can, you know, negotiate that we're going to receive over maintenance of effort? But we're not in control of that. 
So we have got to be prepared and make some decisions and be willing to stand behind those decisions to our public. Right. In the event that we don't receive right. our request. Right. So we've so already we made a good number? attempt I mean, at reducing. So we've we come went a through, long right. way. We went through, but still we are we're still we're only at three hundred thousand dollars. We're, mm -hmm. we're okay, far so off. We just yes. got three hundred and three thousand dollars. That's it. Of to backfill which number, Robin? <laughs> backfill which? Uh, you know, I'm sorry, but I'm three hundred and three thousand dollars. Yeah, that, that's the uh, what we the analysis of all of this. Oh, I see what you're saying. So we were at 334, I think. We were at 334. Yeah. Yeah, and then we added back in the 24 and uh -huh. took back we the 55. We took out the 55. Right. To 31,000 so dollars three, differential. 303. 303. Yeah. 303. That no, brings you up to 365. Oh, did we do we're something adding wrong? 31,000 because you cut 55 yeah. and then right. we added That's right. So 365? I'm sorry, 364. 365. 3,344,000. Anyhow, three. About 300. So, so bottom line oh, wait. is, about, I'm we, sorry. we haven't even gotten to $400,000, yeah, yeah. yeah. and we still this need to find two point some, okay. two you know. Point, okay, that's my 2.7. 2.7. 2.7. And if you go through, you know, this book, like we have done, line by line by line, and any increases in the salary line account, <coughs> excuse me, account for the 1% in a, a step. Which is one, which is one point nine, right? And that has to be done. <coughs> so if we did I mean, a one point, it doesn't. Nine, we can right. give us four thousand back to the um, decision, but is that a better decision? To the communication yeah. specialist, add that teachers, back in that thirteen because that job can only be offered in. <coughs> Yeah. Can we go happens. into the book on any questions of adding things back? Because that's what I just said. That's uh, yeah. that's where I said. Yeah. I'm on page seven, yeah. and well, we the communication specialist. Cash. We need to cut back to forty-seven no, thousand dollars, not sixty thousand. I agree. Yeah. That's thirteen thousand. Okay. That's, that's thirteen. Behind, you know. And what page were you on, dear? Seven. seven. Right. That's seven. what I was. Saying. I don't think yeah. I had I anything. Yeah. Change fifty-eight. One fifty-eight to what? Down by 30, 13, 13 000, would so. be, um, which is that? Which one? Yeah, yeah. 45, uh, 158. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> yeah. That's, that's 13. That's nothing new. Well, total, it, it was uh, 123. 110 and 13. Well, it is, but you can but, nickel and dime yeah. it. You can so what does this see, bring it down? That'll to get you somewhere. But the 110 was already in. I agree. I'm not saying it's brings us down to. It's 110. How much is it? Well, that, the 110, the 110 a, was already, already done. done. <laughs> that's already done. I'm just saying overall. Okay, so about two, a little over two million. You didn't change that either. You didn't change the number on the on page 11. The assistant principals at 18. No, okay, just, so yeah. that should be 10. The FTE, I'm, I that's completely fine. missed the one yeah, changing that's fine. that. So FTE. that's 10, right? Yes. So we have a little over two million, and the way to chunk that out is the one percent is the raise, right. the dollars, and it would bring right. us down to 400,000. So I would rather drop the ex any extra compensation to save firing people. I, I'm yeah, I agree. I agree. I agree. I, I agree. Well, the first thing that would go would be that. One the 275 cola. Yeah. the 1% cola 1.9 million all the raises. they'd get their steps but not well, the cola well then we'd have to find if we got the funding to do so 000. that's only 625,000 well, I don't care it's 625,000 but, but we are we're down to the million. point where we only need a little over a million anyway because we've already reduced you got to go so we're 2 million over 2 million Thank you. Well, okay. well, yes, million. yes, right. to get all the way to MOE, yes, I don't know. Well, <laughs> think it back to what we asked for. Thank you. And I know we didn't get it. Well, I think that at this I, point too, that um, it, it, if to save teachers and all that, and I know it's seventy-five thousand dollars, but we need to cut the hourly wage improvements. But we, we, we can't cut that. Oh, that's, that's right. That's the that's, 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 that's that bill. bill. Okay. Right. I mean, we I'm gonna write that next to that so I don't say it. We no cut more. as much as we could. That's right. That's right. But we we can't cut that final. Sick and safe. It's called sick and safe leave. Oh, sick and safe leave. Okay. Mr. Maggio, are you on? You're on the other cost sheet. I'm back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> we're jumping we're, all. We are. Look, we're jumping yeah. all. We're jumping from page to page here. What was it called again? Sick, sick and, and safe sick and leave. Safe leave. leave. Yeah. So I don't ask that question one more time because I think of it. That's my third time. So okay. I understand those two ways. <laughs> Where am I? So, the seven hundred thousand of additional positions—that's 
built in right now. Is that right? So we could pick through that to Wait, lower that $700,000 amount. No, in, in the second scenario, we took that out. Took it oh, and it's already gone. gone. In yeah. scenario two. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. That's so right. So where are you go? What's that? I don't know. So, yeah, we didn't, there were positions in maintenance that we wanted that we Sue. didn't cut. Sue. 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 Sorry, we were gonna Sorry, Sue. Sue. Oh, no, they're, they're, out. they're out. They're all good. They're, they're already off. Second we already scenario, off. we cut all those. Oh, okay. 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 Have no new positions Hard at all in the budget. Yeah. Only in the second one. one. Uh, in scenario gotcha. two. Gotcha. Right. Okay. So that's the 18 teachers. Right. Okay. I just... Um, that they're still in this the budget school, book the yeah. when we did the second the scenario school, and came up with a million and a half dollars to cut. Okay. Gotcha. Shit. Do you do the, I, I just Sorry. really want to try and advocate for that pathway at the high school, the computer pathway. No, yeah, the we have to do that. Parents are already we have to make that a part of this there. conversation. And in terms of a new position, it, that's it wasn't one of the new, four teachers. It, it, yes, it is. Was it new? It's okay. one of the new four but teachers. But I think that Ms. But Rudolph had, had a way a, of compensating for that. What was in the explanation? Idea. Wasn't there a plan that, yes, for that? That we could. For this year. Well, there's. For, there's yeah, there's, for just for this year. Well, there's. We're looking at every option, but preparing for if there's not money in the budget for that position. But remember that we do have three certified teachers at Queen Anne's County High School that are certified to teach computer science. However, they're teaching full loads as it is. Right. So that means giving right. somebody not extra offering something right. else in order to offer this. Yes. Right. Right. It's so it's a it's a reallocation of current resources, but it's That's still right. going to be an inequitable situation. We've got Ken Island with something that we're yeah, not we have offering. to. That we're teacher not has offer to something stay in. in order to offer that. We got to figure right. out well, how to keep that teacher in there. The other thing is the way it works at Ken Island side coming back to Queen Anne's. If people choose to do pathways that are at only at Queen Anne's, they get can get transported mm -hmm. back to Queen Anne's and do it at Queen Anne's. Can we do it back the other way with computer science? And, and I think Captain Kelly, too, we're looking at every option that's possible from offering it virtually um, so there's a ton of of things at Queen Anne that's what that I was going to say you got to realize Island. that the inequity, so inequitable positions exists. are far it, greater yeah. from Queen Anne's to Ken Island than they are from Ken Island to Queen Anne's that, that's one all thing your goes but back I mean and, and, and the kids only but the kids can Anne's. use it they can go, go to, to Ken Queen Island. Island sure and they can so maybe the, yeah the availability um, Ken Island, that's, that, that teacher teaches a full straight computer science. All day? Yes. Yes, that's Both her. Both first semester and second semester. Yes, that's her. You really need the additional FTE in order to do that. Mm -hmm. But to your point, it gets difficult to add more teaching positions when you might be faced with reducing teaching mm -hmm. positions. I, mean, I, I do I, that. Is that a way to reduce mileage? You would oh, have to, um, I guess, set up a policy. I mean, currently our policy is that we reimburse our people right. at the federal. My question rate. was, uh, if you're right here, in in mileage. I mean, there's a lot of two thousand here, three thousand here, one thousand here. I know in 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 my job, I don't get reimbursed for mileage. I write that, I keep my receipts, and I write it off on my taxes. Is that a possibility to? do with our mileage situation in our budget is this so part of the agreement it is agreement. Uh, that's i don't that's what i'm asking it's uh for for administrators there's a mileage chart that based upon what their position is that we reimburse them based you know a supervisor would put on many more miles because they're visiting all 14 schools to a administrator so we give them that allocation and then if they go to a meeting outside the district we reimburse them for that travel as well okay right and like we require teachers to move from Ken Island High School to the annex on a daily basis, they're back and forth, so we reimburse them for that mileage. Or just like the teachers you're talking about, we might have a teacher that's teaching at one high school for one day and might be at another okay. high school. Okay, that's just my only question. No, I was just trying question. to think no, about it. I do question. the same thing. I don't but it is in the game. So can I ask about, um, let me see if it's on the same page here. Page, um, 13 originally on our first budget draft it was three hundred ninety two thousand one hundred seventy nine dollars for contracted services now our new budget shows three hundred and twenty where did we get seventy two thousand dollars in savings 
and can we that. get some more out of that category? That's a huge amount of money. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what a good point. are we spending or looking to spend for next year? Mm -hmm. So much more contractual money on than we allocated for last year. We only had $148,000 approved for that last year. We're looking to increase that. The first budget draft was almost 400,000. The second one is 320. I'd like to know mm -hmm. how we saved that 80 or whatever it is, 79. And is there any more we can save? Okay. What exactly are contracted services first? How we saved the original amount was the virtual academy. Okay. Very good. Took that out. Very completely. good. So that's come off of two lines, right. two different areas, and if but the same amount If you'll go to page 15, mm -hmm. <clears throat> you you'll see that in the software licensing <laughs> that what we actually spent we in 17 was $400,000. We only budgeted 70 in 18 because we purchased all of those software licenses ahead of time right. with what we call fourth quarter money, the attrition money that we, at the end of the fiscal year, we see we're going to have some dollars left over. Okay. We've purchased those things ahead of time. That's a part of this contracted services fee. Right. The software licenses. Yes. Okay. Yes. So that's where that huge okay. increase comes from. Okay. And I don't think we can do anything about that. Certainly, if we get Especially to June and we find that there. we have some money and we're able to do that again, we can certainly do try it. to do that. Right. Gotcha. But at this point, and I mean, we just moved money into transportation. Right. Sure. We know that maintenance is is sure. really close. Right. We, well, know we can't have our technology over. without our licensing. Right. I know right. that. We know right. that yes. we've been over in right. non-public placements this yep. year. Okay. I'm a little concerned yep. that right. we're going to have money to be able to do that. Right. Even okay. The, even the reduction that we're going to make of 100000 <clears> is a lot. Yep. Um, the STAR, which is the universal screener that we use, we have for three years, that's $100,000. Would it, you know, have we been able to use that to catch some students that we may have missed? Absolutely. But if we reduce that, you know, will we be, you know, broken in that sense? Probably not. Right. We'll be able to right. be okay. I think we discussed this last year. Yes, but, uh, and, and uh, that 300000 we reduced that by 100000 so just, the screener is 100,000. Right. Agile <coughs> 9 from grades 6 to 12 is 100,000. Right. And what's left, and this is kind of your point, Ms. George, is, you know, discovery education is 28,000 for middle school science and social studies. Those are all those little ones. Uh, upon arrival, we've already cut, I think, about 70,000 out of licenses, to your point, that we weren't using. Mm -hmm. Discovery education, yeah. United Streaming, $40,000. We weren't using it. We were able to save that money. So that number that we're throwing in that license thing, I'm with Robin, it's already it concerns been me. That's going to be a huge cut because a lot of teachers and principals use that measure in their SLOs. Okay. However, we'd be able to get by if that means saving right. another okay. teacher. Right, okay. exactly. So exactly. Okay. just to give you a frame as that Thank dollar you. amount, I wouldn't go below that number. Gotcha. Right. <laughs> gotcha. Right. I think we're... <laughs> um, we are... How far are we from completing the uh, Graysonville elementaries? The addition, yeah. it, it'll be open when uh, the new school year comes up. Oh, okay. Um, I don't see that we need a facility planner. Oh, yeah, we do. What's next in line for that? What's next in line? Yeah. I, I mean, I'll be honest with you, there's a lot. I know we're not looking at major projects as far as building, but there's a lot that's required by the state for, for that position. I mean, if you heard the superintendent, they're getting ready to change the whole way things are funded and the way the schools are graded and that's all that. It's, 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 I'm just gonna put it out there. It's gonna be, um, they're looking at doing away with systemic renovations, which means that's gonna fall back onto the county to fund and all those types of things. I mean. Right now, we're two years behind in the facility assessment. <coughs> um, so, hey, we're already three million short. It's there's there's a, there is a lot involved in that position. I mean, a, a lot that I personally <laughs> can't keep up with. I'm just going to be honest with you. Well, there's the whole educational facilities master plan yeah. that has to be done. There's the um, CIP for the state that has to be done. Um, I mean, those are just. Two well, things any of your capital doing, budget they're, they're items, huge projects. Any to, of your construction capital budget items have to be followed, and the oh, yeah. the time date 
process caught up with. I, I don't want to see us ever get to the point where we have not been able to take care of our schools to the point where it's a good reflection on our students, our principals, our executive team. I hear all the time from the community what wonderful shape these schools are in, given the funding the center room. we're faced with <laughs> or the lack of. Uh, say it's the and each issue. one of them have their own issues. Trust right. me, there are schools Look at that the are fun. older and not in as good of clean shape. But we continue to try to present them as well as we can. We have a good staff. Yes. They do. And have. they have a good rapport with our yeah. students they do. as well. They do. They do. Like I said, yeah. it's tough because those low-hanging fruit in the support areas, they've been right. cut the past couple of years. I mean, and, and their hands are tied, too. They don't have all the supplies they need either. You know, we look at, Robin mentioned earlier about transferring some money for transportation. We're well over... Um, the amount of homeless people we had last year, this year already. And when I'm talking about well over, I'm talking about transporting from, say, Kent County all the way down to Mattapique, um, or from uh, Kent Island Elementary all the way down to Talbot, Cambridge area. Our special ed population, I think this year, right now, we're probably about 12 to 15 students over what we had last year. With and I don't think either one of those categories are going to go down. They're going to continue to increase. Yep. And that's those are things where we hope that we can forecast, but you never can forecast no. who's mm -hmm. coming and you know what financial constraints are placed upon you know a family. I mean, yep. it's just. Yep. So I don't gonna, see that improving. Just question. I'm sorry. No. Can I just clarify? So we have to transport a homeless child from Kent County to our okay. county. So we say have we have a, a student, um, the McKinney uh, Bento. Bento Act, uh, federal law requires us to transport. If a student, say their home school is um, Centerville Elementary, just mm -hmm. example, if that family becomes homeless and has to move somewhere, say, you know, within a certain, I wouldn't say a certain range, but Talbot, Dorchester, Anne Arundel County, we're required by law to transport them back to their um, home school to keep a stable environment for that mm -hmm. student. Mm -hmm. We even have some that we were picking up in Tuckahoe State Park and bringing mm -hmm. them back to. Um, I guess the question I have is, um, yeah. <laughs> if we just did the, this list you had that we, agreed on which I'm reading is three hundred sixty five thousand dollars savings right okay um, and we well just with that we would be short to two point six seven million right right because the, okay. basically we changed we did um, everything we still had the go fund we account. had new positions <laughs> well if you, if you look at we were still 1.5 million dollars over maintenance of effort in our second scenario um essentially I'm not using this scenario okay well essentially what we changed on that sheet was thirty one thousand dollars so we're still 1.5 million dollars over uh, i don't want to look at the scenario okay. okay i'm looking at 301 3041 mm -hmm. shortage if we backfilled the 365,000 that we just beat up that list, that long list. Now, how did we okay. come up with the 365? We, we, um, we did the. Well, okay. It's the 334 and then the savings from. Okay, we put the 24 back in. Right, and came out Which was 334, out correct? Took away the 55. It took away the 55. We took away the 55. Right. right. That gives us what, 303, right? right? Three, 365. You add 303. You add, add, add 31,000 to the. 334 30. not subtract it is a 31,000 savings right. huh okay you have 334 Annette then we took yeah. away we added 24 and took away 55 so it's a thirty-one thousand dollar difference. So oh, okay, okay. So, so, okay, so, okay. okay. So it's okay. And three then is the, the bottom line now. That leaves us short two point six seven. Just those two things. The well, and then as I said, the thirteen thousand for the um, for the salary increase for for uh, the, the communication specialist. Okay, so if we took from that sixty out. back to forty-seven, so there's thirteen thousand more there. So then we're at 2.663. That's what I got. Is that what you got? 663, yeah. It was 2.6 million. Okay. So we're, 
uh, and that is that is still keeping our new positions, our seven hundred thousand. So yeah. we're at two point six. I mean, is there a point where we can give guidance to the Dr. Kane and say that's what we should go? Yeah, we can. That's what she wants us to do. Right. I mean, we might come up with a still yeah, three, three, two million over. I would but rather, that's as best yeah. we can. We don't. Don't add yeah, yeah, the twenty four yeah. back in. Just, just give me something. Okay. Knock out the compensation. Yeah, we're well, then we'll have to start cutting on. She'll end up giving us seven hundred thousand short. You don't have to buy much. With the one percent, because with three thirty with steps. Gotcha. Yeah. So by adding in the twenty, you have to add the twenty. Gotcha. And then yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was confused on that too. That's what we're saying. We gotcha. What are you doing? Common Core math? And then we have these conversations. I, I was an English major. Year, uh, and, right. Right. and you didn't take Common Core. I, I didn't right. do right. math. So what we've done I've got it in my little spreadsheet. Right. And I just and added the subtraction. So what? Okay. So what is the total? Is it 365? That's with the 13,000 and the 24 back in. And the 2663. The which McCall ID. Taking the, the way. what they do. We Two six yeah, six that's three. So that's another area more. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Are we going to do that? No, it won't affect the operating at all. Three seventy eight. Three seventy eight. Okay, that's that was my total. Okay, three seventy eight. Uh -huh. And they say how much we can have, and then we just cut the projects off. And then, okay. where's your bottom line? And the bottom line is two six six three. Correct. Right. Okay. Two six six three. I see. Let's just go for it and see what happens. So, yeah, with her explanation points. of everything that. We've cut Lack everything we can cut. That we can't every, cut anything else. But when they or if they choose to cut it this, she will have a retort with what yes. our list of items are that are going to have to be affected by that. 26 school teachers. Yeah. I think well, that she or needs to also. 1% COLA first, maybe. What's yeah. that? Maybe the 1% COLA first, so we don't have to take teachers. It Start depends, cutting Sharon. the compensation at, at first. At $1.3 million, we're not going to have the money That's to do correct. all that. That's correct. Um, 1.3 will not do our one step. So I don't know how cola. we're going to do uh, we're, COLAs. I don't know how we're going to give way, steps. Either way, it's still not enough. And, and still mm -hmm. have to get rid of 26 teachers. That is disgusting. I'm sorry, and if I make somebody mad, I can't Well, it. But that's the way it is. No, we would only do. For the for richest county on the eastern <laughs> shore, and, and we're sitting here fiddling I know with two million I'm dollars. not going to disagree so I have a with you with that. I'm not going to disagree with you so okay so, so I want to make sure I'm yeah. clear so my marching <laughs> orders are yes. at this point I'm going to take out the three hundred and sixty five thousand dollars that we identified on that list right plus thirteen thousand dollars for the communication right. specialist mm -hmm. so that gives me a total of three hundred and seventy eight thousand dollars that I'm going to subtract from the budget right and then we are going forward with a budget to present to the county commissioners that is going to be two point six six three million dollars over, over, over maintenance of efforts. yes, yes. okay just so everybody sure on board with that board with yes I don't think that's unreasonable it includes no. either there was nothing it does mean it includes seven it leaves oh, yeah. the, the eight positions still in the budget it does make sure we all get on the same page here. yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay wait a minute wait a minute that. That. yeah but that include that includes the seven seven hundred eight positions it includes the step in the one percent yes right yes right eight positions yes and at this four four positions not eight Eight positions. We have four teachers. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, well, that's right. We didn't cut the right, right, maintenance. We didn't maintenance cut the driver. And a driver right, training. right. So, yes, so eight, eight positions. Eight positions. Yes. 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 Okay. Okay. Four <laughs> teachers, but eight four positions. Teachers. Can we okay, count yes. That eight from a lot. And yeah. at this point, yeah. we're not doing anything well, they asked with for middle school PE. Just yes. for the we're schools. not doing anything <laughs> with the <laughs> elementary. Right. No. Um, but we know that those are the items that we're going to put The public needs to be well aware that. Those are on the chopping block if the we do not get six. anything above right. MOE or right. they do not give us, the county commissioners do not give us enough funding. Yep. And what enough funding what, is what, okay. two six. No, I just want to make sure that I, that I was clear and, and as far as with the superintendent preparing her remarks in her right. budget, that would, and I believe that goes back to the first scenario. Yes. Yeah. Okay. You want her to... In case we don't get MOE, you want her to present on scenario one, which would say if well, we don't get this. No. No. Well, no, no, no. no, this is why I have. A, this is why I kind of liked the option of the the list with it said like pay to play and all that money because I think that that's clearly got to be included on, in on if we don't get above MOE. These are also things that we're looking at, not just the scenario. The things one. that we're going to have to add, not just cut. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so just a list of potential options. Yeah. which would include 26 teachers right 
-hmm. right? Because that's the discussion exactly. you want to have. The 26 teachers is like the big headline, so that would get the public attention and people on board. That's They're right. not too interested in all this other stuff. That's right. more, right. I think, for public well, support. Well, a lot of people are very passionate about that pay to play, mm -hmm. myself being yeah. one. Mm -hmm. um, I have a real big problem with that. But listen, if it comes yeah. down to it, we don't have any other choice. Mm -hmm. But exactly do we, we even to want to I mean, put that on the table for them to say, no, no. okay. Sharon, what, what Jen said for was us. to put the, we have the list for Dr. Kane to have. Mm -hmm. uh, Robin will give her that list. And these will be the other things that will go along with those 26 teachers. If we have to resort to. If we to. have to resort to cutting this budget more. Included in that is, is the compensation piece too. Right. right. That has right. to be, right. Those are things we'd have to weigh. 26 That's teachers yeah. are no stock. Like, what do you pay? That's right. right. So the other cost saving considerations that you want us to put forward are pay to play. Yes. What was on the list? The, whatever was on the presentation. If you okay, I um, went back to the yeah. presentation. And then reviewing staffing at all schools was something which that we, we were had talking about, at, which we right. obviously talked about. Um, the health care coverage changing the EPO individuals to 9010, but that's a negotiated item, so I don't know how. You can still write that down. I mean. Okay. <clears throat> um, Let's see. And can then you go admission, back and admission add fees for student attending athletic presented? events. It's already on the table. Oh, it is. Okay. And that was all we had on okay. that list. Now, do, are there other things that you would like me to cost out to look at um, as we go through this? Last year, we, I know it wasn't popular, but we had to put it on the table last year, it was a furlough day. I mean, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's right, we did. 250000 Robin, correct me, of around $250,000 a day. That's right, I forgot we put that out last yeah. year. I, that's you right. Know. What else was yep. on there, Greg? It, that's right. It's an option, not a but great how option. how does that work? They have they to work take a day off. Get I mean, they get, have to work yeah. and don't get paid. Correct. Right. Mm, the whole school system and, and they, the don't school they, don't, they, they don't work. They don't work, but they don't get paid. Don't yeah, they, they have to stay out of school. So that would mean everyone they don't in the get school a system would take, a, would take a, a furlough day. How do we meet the 180 day requirement? The oh, students have to be, be in school. Does take it out of PD, the PD day. Yeah, Teach, day teachers day. actually, their calendar is 189 Nine. days. Right. Mm -hmm. So it would have to be one of the nine days that students aren't in school so that we would have to furl out. So when we bring teachers in the first five days mm -hmm. where there's no kids, that could be rather than five days, it could be four days. Oh, I see. Yeah. But are the PD speech. days negotiated too? Or are they well, standard? They're, they're, they're mandated. They're number of days. They're mandated. If you remember last year, it was 10. I remember we gave This year it was back. nine. Yeah. Right. We reduced the professional development right. days in good faith of to compensate right. our employees, right. but that reduced us a day of, of professional development. But, but they still got paid, right. that's the problem. So they still if, got the same salary, just didn't do it. If we mm -hmm. used a furlough day on a PD day, does that have to be a negotiated item? Or would it be? Okay. I believe that would be at okay. the discretion of the, of the superintendent, superintendent. Okay. with consultation with the board on what that mm. day would be. Gotcha. Okay. The board gotcha. would approve the day, you know, right. would under there would probably be multiple options presented to the board right. and say which one would the board Right, right, right. Okay. That work for. Right. okay. But it is an option. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I just w real quickly went back to look at what the options were that we put on the table last year. Uh -huh. um, pay to play was one of them. Um, the 1% for employees getting no step, but we haven't included that in we the haven't. budget this year, so that's not an option to take out. Um, the 90-10 split on the health care was one, a furlough day, um, the one we ultimately ended up using was the use of fund balance, which is not a good way of funding our budget, obviously, mm -hmm. um, and then a delay in salary increases. Oh, that's right. Uh, graduated, yeah, yeah scheduled. Yeah. What kind of dollar amount is associated with pay to play? Like, like $100 a kid. Okay, so yeah. oh, what was the estimate? But the farm the kids map? are free no matter what. Like yeah. they right. get, they're going to get. Like 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, 140, those were the only items. Are there any other items? Do our that free you would lunch like kids come into play too? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
That's what we estimated. That's what I farm think, is originally two forty. For your reduced meals, one thirty. That's all we could see. The parent, I hated getting rid of that too, and, and that parents got used to it. And how they going to put it back? Huh? What's that? The pay they away. finally stopped screaming about it and got used to it. And now we're going to ask then we for it again. <laughs> Maybe, it but uh, to the last resort. Do, but yeah, yeah. What are I'm we going to do? That is one thing I'm not for. I'm not either. I'm not either. I but I'm not. I'm not for board. cutting I teachers either. Is, though, I mean, parents though are, are also used to paying for their kids to play up until high school anyway. It, so it. it could have I mean, travel teams. Right. I. Is it all at high school? But you have a lot of kids that don't play well, until they hit high school. That's right, true but too. the kids who wouldn't be able to, the, the farm kids would get free anyway. Free. Right, they get it. So yeah. I don't. I, 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 it's, it's I a just last feel resort. like it's a I'm like resort. with Annette. Yeah. We are the seventh wealthiest county in the state of Maryland. We charge the highest income tax available by law. We are sp uh, education our students per student at the 17th lowest level of 24, and yet we're going to charge our kids to I know. play. It's just not my last sport, resort. My last resort is getting rid of a teacher. I, I agree. Teacher. That's children. what I just said. That's yeah. my I am last not resort. going to get rid of a teacher I before to play I do a sport anything is not my else. Last I agree. No. I agree. No. And that's a teacher and a half. And my little statement, my little speech goes across the board. It goes, why can't we have the teachers we need? Why can't we have the staff we need? Why can't we have the materials we need? Unfortunately, we just can't. I agree with you more, Sharon, but that's just the way it's, it it's is. gone for the last it few is. years. We have to do the um, best we can based on what we need. Nobody wants to cut, cut a teacher from a classroom. Absolutely not. Nobody wants to make kids play to, play to, pay. to, yep, pay, I agree. to play a sport in school. Um, but if our county commissioners um, do not understand what we're asking of them, shame on them. So, because we have we have cut this till I, there's just no other way to cut it. So, what did our bottom line come to? Two million six hundred thousand. Six six three. Two six six three. And what was the other From five four. One point six, right? What'd you say? One point six. The ask of last year. I, I know I said five four one zero for the last five years, and I. Did just, you get that information? Yeah, I did. Oh, so that okay. was helpful. I just couldn't remember off the top of my head what the ask was for last year. It was 1.6 over, but we only got MOE right. last so year. No 1. Well, 1. Well, one thing we are being upfront and uh, transparent, as she says, with the Absolutely. county commissioners, so they, they aren't caught blindsided. Um, right. Like Absolutely. Last year. This so is you know this is to them you know this is this is what we are doing that we've done the best that we can. We do not want to lose any teachers. We don't want to go to do any of the, the things that we're sitting here discussing that we're all sick to death that we think we might have to do it's well, in the balls in their court and, and i think to your point mr maggio and i think that's important for the public to know and you know in any organization your highest price tag is your people that's right and we're over 86 percent of our budget is in people that's so right. you have to look at making significant a gap in your overall budget at some point you're going to have to go there that's right. And because of last year, we didn't get anything over maintenance yep. of effort. And I think it's important that we bring that back up to the public. Right. That we found one point about $5 million, not without its pain, of using That's some right. not very good budget practices going into to fund balance, which you don't want to do. That's a one-time right. cost, which has gotten us back into that again. And didn't we take money out of our insurance last year? Out of our insurance reserves. Yes, so uh, we've yeah, been we took money out of that. Down. We're actually doing, doing that, that again, again this year. We are doing it. Yeah. How much this yeah. year? Over a million dollars this year in order to get it from a 10% increase down yeah. to a 4.5% yep. increase. Yep. yep. What, what did you mean when you said the commissioners were caught blindsided last year? Um, they claimed They felt like be. they were because we went in to cut media specialists and they got hit because we were short. Right. And they got hit big the time. Public the public I outcry. That, yeah. And they reinstated it. Mm -hmm. They gave us the money for them. No, they didn't. No, they did no, not. No, no, no. We no, took they it just out. It's not bad. No. They yeah. Oh, they Greg's found it's the money and fun it. balance. Got it. That's right. Yeah. Yes. But yeah. also, right. keep right. in mind, we weren't getting rid of employees. No, we were we moving were, we them. Were moving on back they were teachers. still going yeah. to right. well, earn yeah. their Being money. Fired. But they, they were going to be right. teaching and a shift in the organization. We were not getting rid of anybody. But now we're telling them. But it was a them. saving. Yeah, we're telling, now we're telling them, them that we will get yeah. rid of them. We have to. Right. We so have to. We're going to have to get rid of them. I remember you speaking at the Maybe this year they won't ask us for a letter of apology. People, business. This will impact our compensation package to our people. 
I remember I would share that, my notes that every time that I think of those hearings that we sat in together, yeah. absolutely, our employees in their in, in their compensation package. We weren't specific. Yes. I look back Who, and think, which employees? But we also weren't at that point, right? Because right, that budget got struck in the middle of May, yep. and we were there, yeah, uh, May twenty third, I believe it was. Yep, yeah, so it was May twenty third. I want to make the point too. It's not that we're protecting unproductive, unnecessary employees, and sometimes I worry that that's what it's getting looked like. My kids have been in the school system since two thousand eight. All three of them spectacular teachers the whole right. way through. I have not seen some lazy teachers laying around that should be cut. <laughs> sometimes I feel like that's the right. image, and yeah. it's just not true. Mm -hmm. I don't think right. we have a no. system that protects unperforming teachers. No. We don't. No, we don't. We have 14 fabulous schools, Wait, let's, let's and our teachers are the best with what they have to work uh, with. That, they have the and, less and to work with. And we have in 80 place. 80% of the, work, the teachers have a master's. That's yeah, a high level yeah. of a quality yeah. teacher that's Absolutely. working with our students. Absolutely. And, and if we have a struggling employee, we have some things in place to help them, not just to leave them dangling out there to think that maybe they can't do this. Right. We have these in place. These are programs that cost dollars. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think we could have scored as well as we've been on our testing if we don't have something going correctly. But every education system has got to be supported financially. And Carrie's point that we've gone from 55% to 41% in a very short period of time. Absolutely. Not really even a generation. The value of education that is huge. County. That's right. And I will tell you that someone who attended the breakfast this year came to me and said who they were sitting with. And when that particular screen came up, their mouths dropped. And the question was, how did that happen? They thought we were still getting 51, 52, 53 right. percent of the budget. These are very into well, people are, in this community. Those are the people that need to come out and tell the county That's what I told them. That we need the That's funding what to I keep told our them. schools going. So. That's what I told them. So I'm taking it from everyone here that we will have Dr. Kane go to the county commissioners with a 2.663 million over MOE. And we all agree on that, correct? We all agree. Okay. We all agree. I think we agree on the plan that she's going to use. I'll include a slide that says if no more. Absolutely. Of effort, this is what. These are the options, and this is the price tag for each absolutely. of those Absolutely. Yes. Yes. So. They'll have the dollar amount yeah. for each. Dollar amount, though, yeah. Thank you. And they'll be yep. picking and choosing that menu from, for us. I would just well, say they'll these try. are the kinds of things No, we have to give them the dollar amount to because do. we got to show how. No, we don't have to show the dollar amount. No, because I, mean, I, I mean, we have well, to make that decision. They they're already showing them a dollar amount, 2.663. Right. Okay. Right. But I, 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 don't, I'm, I don't think that we need to, this, I think that what we need to, that list needs to say is here are the things that are going to be cut if we do not get what we need, the 2.663 Over amount. MOE. Right. I don't think that we have to the put The whole amount. amount. Yeah. And that's the whole list. Yeah. Yeah. It's just Let the it list. Leave it up it's to them to guess yeah. if we only gave yeah. them that's, I, I don't think one million three necessary. over. They'll cut half you of know, those that's, items. That's given they can't tell us which items to cut anyway. So, or not to so we'll see what happens. So, okay. do we have anything else that we want to discuss? What time is it? Because it's 2.07. Do we need closed session any further or no? Um, um, no, we can put it all well, out there. Well, I thought we were going to get an update. Something, yeah, didn't, didn't Dr. King say something we about going go back, back into, into closed, closed session? session? Yeah. Negotiations. Mm -hmm. Something about negotiations? Do you have something to give to us? No. Just no. question on authorizing further negotiations. Yeah, we have to go back into. Okay, closed so we have to go back into closed session then. Close. Move that right. we go. We move into closed session to discussion for discussion um, negotiations. I second. second. Mm -hmm. All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed, say no. The ayes have it. Mm -hmm.